YouTube, what up? It's your boy, The Real Tez. We back at it again. So this is my very first vlog. Man, let me tell y'all, I have recorded a vlog before and all of it was muted. All of it. So very disheartening because I had did a lot of stuff. I showed y'all like 200 or some orders, but nonetheless, it comes with the game. I'm trying out this vlog and stuff. So if you do like it, let me know. But today is going to be a day in my life. So we do have a drop coming up January 5th at 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, I'm going to be showing y'all these varsity jackets as far as, um, you know, what we're going to be dropping and we're going to do some product shots with it. Uh, I got my daughter here for the next week and a half or so. So she's probably going to help me out with this. Yeah. So these are basically the varsity jackets that we'll be dropping. So shout out to my manufacturer who ended up doing these. If you guys need a manufacturer, make sure you guys just uh, look down below in the description. These are Lovers Club only. So this is a collection that I have made up um, and I have my designer just really just slaughter it on. It says One Love Lovers Club on the back. Then you got the Chanel patching, Scan for Love at the bottom. We gonna be basically dropping three colorways. So if y'all watch my videos when I do my pre-order drops, I usually recommend dropping at least three colorways, um, three to two. Cause you just don't wanna give them too many options, but then again, you don't wanna have a little amount of options. So we got No Love, No Enemy down on the sleeve, One Love Lovers Club ticket, One Love embroidery patch, Chanel patch in here, Lovers Club only, and and down here on the side, it says made with love. Now, the really cool thing I love about these varsity jackets is these are actually a cream color. So it's not like a white. And the reason I went with cream is because I really wanted this uh, the varsities to really just stand out. So the royal blue or the Nipsey blue. Yeah, hey, man, I don't know. Let me know which one y'all like the most, man. Like I know for a fact these are going to go crazy. And then basically what I'm going to be doing in this video is obviously showing you guys a day in my life as a clothing brand owner and as a father. But more importantly, I'm going to be taking you guys behind the scenes of preparing for this drop. So basically, Basically, today is just day one. I basically already uploaded video on my personal Instagram and on the One Love page. So on the One Love page, we have like probably like 44,000 followers on there. And now we just got to start getting the emails, the text messages and everything automated. So usually what I tell people when you guys are dropping, best thing to do is get everything scheduled, right? Because the day of you're going to have a bajillion things to do. Number one. Number two. And if you guys kind of hear my, my voice and things like that, I'm a little bit sick, but we're going to make sure this gets done, right? But number two, you want to make sure that people are notified ahead of time, right? So making sure you're scheduling out email campaigns and making sure that there's emails going out 48 hours before the drop, 24 hours before the drop and all those good things um, really does help with the performance of the drop itself. For us, we're going to probably do a 72 hour drop so that means over the entire 72 hour time span, people will be able to order those varsity jackets. I was gonna drop our jogging suits with it. We're not gonna get the colorways in time. So if you guys wanna see, these are the pants that uh, come with the jogging suit. And then you got the one love patch down below. These aren't the right colorways. They still have some things that they needed to fix. So with that being said, um, I just brushed my teeth, but nonetheless, we're gonna go ahead and go outside. I'm gonna show y'all how we set up for doing our pictures for the pieces themselves. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is I have a drop strategy. If you guys need a drop calendar i ended up making one as well so basically today is the 27th so we have nine days before the drop itself so every single day i'll have content going out but on top of that i'm going to be running an ad behind it on top of it right so when i'm done with these product shots right here i'll probably do it with my phone or with the camera i'll probably do both actually because i need some for the for the website before we go outside to take pictures of these items this is my baby girl what's your name nani hey nani all right so we just made it downstairs i completely forgot that uh uh, my first Tesla is actually in a garage. So I got two Teslas. Big uh, note that I would tell anybody, do not buy two of the same car. Um, if I'm gonna be doing product shots, what I'm gonna be doing is like sweeping the ground to make sure that there's not too much stuff going on under the products. So I'm gonna probably just shoot the pictures like right here. Um, the only thing I do wanna make sure is that there's not a crazy shadow, but basically I'm gonna take the pictures right here. I'm gonna come back on this side because the, the lighting is crazy right now. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try that as well and then we'll kind of see how that looks and then uh, i'll come back and show y'all what the products on the ground all right now that we've gotten that all cleaned up we're gonna start with the first one which is the nipsey bloom so i'll show you guys kind of like the behind the scenes of me taking the pictures All right, so we just finished the product photography um, on ground. 
don't know what's going on back there, right? I did have an idea where I want to, uh, like I showed y'all earlier, take pictures of the samples on top of the white Tesla. So yes, this is a day of the life of a clothing brand owner, but it's also slash dad mode because uh, this is something that I enjoy doing and I love being a dad. So with that being said, she's coming down with the keys. We're gonna hop in this Tesla, pull it around to the front and then try to get the best lighting for the pictures. And then I'll show you all the black Tesla. All right, all right, and here's my other baby. The reason I love this car so much is, come here, you come over. I got her, come on, come on. If you double tap it, actually it opens that. Then if you double tap it again, opens the other side. Then on these sides right here, right? Right here, if it'll focus, let's see if it'll focus. All right, basically there's these little mirrors right here. These open the side doors, so let's check it out. So I'll double tap that one, double tap that one, and voila. So I ended up buying this car as a tax write-off. Uh, my taxes were insane, um, but we went ahead and tried to deduct as much as we could with this car right here. And uh, yeah, so now we got this Tesla, and then we have this one. Come on, buddy. What you got to say to YouTube? Hi. Hi. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the samples out of this car. All right. And then we're going to basically, can you grab that black one for me, buddy? And we just don't try to see how this looks. I don't know exactly how it'll turn out. So basically what I was thinking is maybe like having it angled right here somehow, but uh, I'm gonna try it out and then I'll show you all the pictures afterwards. All right, y'all. So here is basically what one of the samples looks like on top of the Tesla. Um, I got a couple of different angles. I definitely need to get some with the camera because it looks a lot more clear. Uh, what you think of it? You think, you think it look good? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all doubt if he don't have any gold with him. I know, right? I need to get some golden ones. Comment down below if y'all want a golden one, like she said. So let's go ahead and jump into the next part. All right, so we just finished up the product photography. I had to take some time out to put my daughter inside of the bathtub so she can get washed up. But what I am going to do now is I'm going to start editing these um, these pictures inside of Lightroom. So I'll just give you guys the settings that I use while also showing you guys the picture that it came out looking like. So basically I'll show you the before and the after and then the settings that I ended up using. So just stay tuned. All right, y'all. So we just got back in the crib. So I haven't started editing these pictures yet just because they came out looking really, really clean. So the blue one looked okay. I'll have uh, probably somewhere on the screen, I'll have them pop up on there as well. But the ones that I like the most though, are the ones on the car so these are just a couple of the ones we took but these ones came out hands down the best with the tesla logo giving it really like a good feel to the brand um with these pictures but also just a lot of detail and quality and it pops more by standing um out on that white um on the actual you know car itself now this one right here is one of those ones that's definitely gonna pop when it goes like on someone's feed and somebody sees that this is going to really like take off. So what basically I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ones on the car for content on Instagram. So if you guys see this on Instagram, one love dot clothing on Instagram, make sure y'all go like and let me know what color was the best. By the time you guys see this, we'll probably already have dropped. But nonetheless, I'm going to use these pictures that are on top of the Tesla car for content today. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one front picture. So like one of these and then one back picture for each color. So blue, red, and black. So it should be six pictures total. And then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post it onto the Instagram page and let people know about the drop date, which is again, January 5th at 6 p.m. Eastern, letting them know the material that this is and all the stuff that it comes with, all that good stuff. So then I'll basically promote that and then I'll promote it on Instagram. So I'll show you guys how I run the ads for it as well. But basically I have a budget. I'm gonna spend $500 on this and then I'll spend $500 on a video ad ads on a video that I have going all to the profile page on Instagram. So I'll show you guys the video one um, that we took before when I did the other vlog and it never caught the audio, but I'll show it to you guys right now. So here's the video ad that I'm going to be running on Instagram. This is the day that I told y'all like I, I didn't get a chance to get the vlog audio, but this is how the video ended up coming out. Came out super, super clean. So I'm going to basically maybe chop this up to where it's a little bit easier to watch because it is a pretty like long, I'll say it's like 40 seconds or so, but it's all really, really high quality. So it's I'm gonna run an ad to this and those picture collages, and I'll probably put $500 each on both of them. So $1,000 total. The website is locked right now. Um, so nobody can go in there and buy anything off of the OneLove website with it being locked. 
um, and this is solely focused on us just getting a lot more emails. So basically this is gonna stay locked while I'm running those ads. Now, some people may ask like, Tez, why would you lock your website when you already have other products that you wanna sell? So the main reason I'm doing this because I wanna get as many emails as possible. And the reason I'm doing this is because the people who are gonna to subscribe to my email list are gonna be excited and wanting to buy the new drop that's coming. So now I'm getting all of these people tailored to one product, not my whole website or the whole brand itself, getting all these people who are tailored and liking this one product. And then I'm gonna basically email blast them and text message blast them once it actually drops. Again, this video is gonna be like the first day of me, you know, documenting all the way up to the process of the drop date. I probably won't do every single day. I'll just kind of do different phases of like doing content days, talking to manufacturers and things like that. But I know for a fact, it'll be very beneficial for a lot of people to kind of just see how we're doing things. Also on top of that, my daughter's upstairs. She's taking a nap. My girl just got home, so she's taking a nap as well. So right now it's around 2.40 p.m. Um, everyone's pretty tired. We do we do normally start our days pretty early. Um, I usually hit the gym and things like that, but with me being sick, I still wanted to be productive and get some work done. But again, if you guys are liking this video so far, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below uh, some things that you guys are liking about it. But um, I'll be right back once I am done doing this. All right, y'all, so I just finished editing uh, this first picture right here. You won't really notice a difference too much with it being right here on the camera with you guys watching the video, but it's a drastic difference. Uh, versus this one versus the you know the original so basically here's the settings that i did so this is lightroom um this is the app that i use to basically go in and edit a lot of things so i took my exposure down uh just a little bit and these are things that you guys can kind of play around with what i recommend is paying with uh the lighting on here that's going to make or break a lot of your uh, pictures and even videos so exposure i took it down a little bit contrast i took it down a little bit i took my highlights up which are the whites in the highlighted colors i took those up uh, my shadows, I took those just up a little bit because it was just a little too dark. Um, and then the whites, I took those up quite a bit to around plus 25. Um, and then the blacks, I lowered it a little bit more to make it just a tad bit darker. When it comes to the effects, I took texture up a little. Uh, clarity, I took down a little bit. Um, I'm not going to adjust it, anything like that. So you guys can go in and play with it as well. But these are really the main settings I recommend touching when you're doing this and then in detail i took the sharpening up because i want it to be very crisp and detailed um and yeah so it looks really really clean and then all you have to do afterwards is just pretty much just uh save copy to device and then it saves it automatically so i'm gonna basically um the other thing too that you really want to do when you're doing this is you want to come over here and i have other presets for like my instagram photos so for uh first uh second little less this is a little less texture um and then basically what i'll do is i'll save this one as well so let's go over to here uh actually i think we need to save it so let's see All right i do this uh, let's see if i remember how to do this i think it's up here uh sure add border let's see something organize copy create preset there we go perfect and then uh, we'll just do clothing preset. So anytime I do the other pictures, all I gotta do is just click this clothing preset and then it'll do it automatically for those other pictures as well. So that's how I use Lightroom to edit my pictures. Really, it takes around five to 10 minutes, um, depending on how you want it to look and how the pictures came out. But I think these are very crispy. I'm gonna probably cut it to just this um, square on the pictures itself. Uh, my shoes don't really need to be in it because this all is just extra room for like nonsense that people don't really need to see. They really just need to see the picture itself of the pieces. So I'm going to post these on Instagram and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So we just ended up posting the collage of pictures right here, as you guys can see. So here it is right here. This is the post that I just made. Super crispy. And y'all can obviously see content doesn't take that much, obviously. So now that the post has been made, we'll probably send out an email sometime today as well. Right now, I'm actually making some ramen noodles. Shout out to my baby girl. That's what she wanted. So I said, you know what? We're going to take it back old school. We're going to go ahead and make some noodles real quick. So, uh, yeah, we about to make some noodles. Then we probably go watch a movie or play a game or something like that. But other than that, man, the website shut down. Um, content has been shot. Showed you guys the cars and things like that. So the next video you guys will see from me is probably sometime closer to the drop date, which is again, January 5th. So depending on when you're seeing this, make sure you tap in. Um, I again made sure that it was very limited when I posted and just made sure people understood that. 
So yeah, I hope you guys like these type of vlogs. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys want more of these types of videos. Um, I actually like them a lot. But we're going to end this one off here because I don't want to make it too long. But if you guys have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys seen the Lightroom presets and all those good things. That stuff was real good. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let me know. Leave a like. Make sure you guys subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know if y'all want more of this. It's your boy Tez. And Nani, say bye. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all later.